Well, my bowling days are over, and so is this pitch. Now, what I'm going to demonstrate now is very vital to ensure that you have continual pitches of good quality throughout the season to sustain all your fixtures. And we start with that sequence with filling in the bowling holes that have been made during the course of the match. We're going to show you how to fill these in really hard so you could actually use this pitch again. Or taking the pitch out completely for full repairs. I'm going to show you that sequence. Now the first thing we have to do is to sweep off all the loose debris uh, from the brush holes to make them absolutely clean which is what Ian's doing. This is exactly what they do on all the international test grounds at the end of the game. Now, although we're taking this and sweeping this away, we're just going to put it to the back behind the stumps because we might need to use a bit of this dust again, as we will explain. To fill these holes, we have to use a pre-prepared mixture of heavy loam. Now, there's no convoluted secret of putting concrete dust in this. This is perfectly adequate, it's absolutely what they do on the international grounds. But to do that, what we take is a couple of shovelfuls of sifted heavy loam, spread them out in the barrow, put a little bit of water, a couple of shovelfuls, bit of water, and so on, until we build up enough of our requirements. We then cover it with a bit of plastic, and we leave to mature overnight, to settle down because you can't use it straight away, it would just all gum up. So we leave that to settle and this could be done two or three days in advance of when we need to use it. And what, we, what we're looking for is a soil on the dry side but when I squeeze it you can see it immediately binds and that's just about the right consistently for filling these holes. What Ian's going to do now, now we've cleaned out all the dust, Ian's going to actually put a little bit of water in these holes and form a slick with his hands to ensure that the bond is made between the filling compound. He's paying close attention to the edge, working it into as a slick. He's really getting down and dirty here, but it's very necessary. If you put too much in, you're going to have to wait. If there's any standing water, this will not work. It's solely to form a bond. So we might have to wait a bit till any standing water has disappeared. A lot of time and effort goes into producing a pitch. So by doing this, a little bit of camouflage, there's absolutely no reason why this pitch can't be run out for a second time, or even a third if it doesn't get much wear. The secret of this is convex to concave. In other words, the mirror, we mirror the depression with the shape of the loam dome on the top. And we do it all in one hit. We don't do it in layers, we do it all in one hit. If you wish, if this pitch is going to come out, um, it's no longer going to be any play, we could add a little bit of seed in that, uh, into that mix, so it allows the seed to get a start. So that's an extra advantage. Ian's now going to work around the hole with his foot to seal the edges and firm it down. Working his way towards the centre of the hole. But of course this is just with foot pressure. Now to, to really seal this off we use what we call an elephant's foot or a builder's tamper and work again from the edges around little tip if it's a little bit dewy in the morning when you're doing this and you get a bit of, uh, of uh, loam stuck on the bottom which you don't want you could always just put a bit of plastic over the top of that and just hammer over the plastic. It will stop it from sticking. Just a little tip. A little bit of dust over the top. This will help to draw the last bit of moisture off. And there we go. 
Now I'm 16 stone and if I jump on that, I'm leaving no impression. Now that's from a readily dry soil and that's what we do. Now if you're going to do this on the morning of the match and you're going to use it again, you need a little bit of time for that to go like rock. But just one thing before, we've got the straight edge. If you're going to take this pitch out and this is your repair to stay in, then you just want to ensure that it's not too proud. So we use a straight edge all the way around just to make sure it's all nice and level. We don't have to take a little bit off. It looks pretty good to me. There we go. Fine. There we go. There we have it. Now that is ready. You can play on that in a couple of hours. Absolutely ready. It will take my weight or people even heavier than me.